We've made all the changes we need to make. We now need to render the entire project. File, render as. Let's look at the render as dialog box. We have options to save as type, AVI, Windows Media, Real Media, MPEG. We'll discuss all of those in detail in subsequent lessons. Within each file type, we can find a list of presets. Or we can make our own custom template video for Windows. Let's start with an uncompressed. Video rendering quality. This should be set to good unless you're rendering a project that has an inordinate number of high quality still images. Down here, we can save the project as path referenced in the rendered media. We can render the loop region only. We can stretch video to fill output frame size. In other words, do not letterbox, do not put the black bars on the top and or sides. We can save project markers in the media file. This is especially useful if we're going to DVD architect. And we can render using networked computers. I have two tips for you which will ensure that your renders are as good as they possibly can be. Tip number one, all of my source material for my video projects is contained on the video drive. For example, all of the files for this course are contained on the video drive. When I do a render, I do not render to the video drive. I do not render to my system drive. I render to the audio drive. I have a Vegas renders folder on the audio drive. That way, one drive is reading and one drive is writing. You're not writing to the same drive, and you should never write to your system drive. This is the most efficient way to do it. If you use internal drives, it's the best. You can also get away with using FireWire drives or other external drives as well. Video drive, audio drive, never the twain shall meet. The second tip has to do with what programs are resident in memory at the time the rendering is being done. Take a look at Start, Run, MS Config, M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G. This launches the system configuration utility. Go to the Startup tab and take a look at what programs are being loaded at Startup. In my case, I'm loading my video driver. I'm loading my shuttle helper for the Shuttle Pro. And I'm loading my M-Audio Firewire 1814 controller. That's all. I'm not loading any virus protection. I'm not loading any system scheduling or anything else that would interfere with a render. There are basically four categories of rendering. One category is rendering for the web, where you'll have streaming media or files that will be downloaded. Another category is CD-ROM, where the files will reside on a CD-ROM or be installed from a CD-ROM to a local hard drive or a network file server, for example. The next category is broadcast, where you're basically delivering broadcast quality tapes, and you'll probably be using the print-to-tape feature. The next category is DVD, where your final delivery mechanism will be a DVD. We'll talk about each of these in detail.